It's not a burek, but it looks like burek, and but burek with, with no filling, no 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 meat, no cheese, no nothing inside. So like empty burek. And it kind of gives you the feeling that you're eating some meat or some substance. I mean, you will tell me what type of feeling feeling will give you when, it's not the, when you have that. How's everybody doing today? We have got a special guest, Scorpio Free Walking Tours. No, Free Scorpio Walking Tours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Zoran. Yeah, I'm uh, owner and manager of Free Scorpio Walking Tours. So I hope that one day when you come to Skopje you will join my tours and I will be happy to show you around. Today we're gonna do a food tour. I will show you and your viewers the most typical dishes they have to try when they come to Skopje. Awesome, I'm super hungry. I'm excited to try the local foods. I just hope that by the end of the tour we will not need a medical assistant. <laughs> CPR <laughs> from a coma, yeah, yeah. from a food coma. Yeah. This flaky dough that we call mekitsi. Uh, mekitsa, it uh, can be like a really small breakfast. And uh, you can have this, if you are having it in your home, you can have it with jam or you can have it with cheese. It's really up to your taste. Also, you can have it with yogurt. Because it's greasy, again, a lot of fat and oil. Okay, so I'm gonna break this for you so you will see how it looks from inside, so. It is, it's nothing inside, it's simply bread. And that's why I'm saying you can mix it with, you can have it with jam or cheese or whatever. In interesting story behind this mekitsi is that actually the families are preparing them when they have a newborn child in the family. So usually the family will have a celebration and they want to acknowledge to the rest of the family they have a new member of the family. So they will get all the members in their homes and for that occasion they will prepare the mekitsi. The reason why, apparently, because the mekitsi are soft as the as the baby, you know, really soft skin and like really soft. So, I'm one of the things. And it's like simply, in order to to avoid everyone coming daily, you simply bring all of your friends and family at at once, and you make them for, uh, make those for them with cheese, with jam on the side. Just another excuse <laughs> to have a, a feast, I should say. But yeah, let's try. Again, don't ask me about the number of the calories. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it looks really good, you guys. This reminds me of kind of a, a donut without sugar on it, pretty much. Yeah, more or less, yeah. It's been fried, it's yeah. a fried piece of bread. Yeah, actually, that's a very good description. Mm. It's more like, like a donut, but nothing on it. Mm. No sugar, no nothing. It's good, though. It's really, yeah, yeah. it's doughy. It's got a great texture. It's, it's got a little bit of that donut flavor without any sugar at all. And again, this is a like really, really, really small breakfast. Mm. This is like really, you don't want to sit for that. This is like a takeaway. Mm. You really. Sometimes when I don't do burek, I do two of those. The best moment or the best way to have those make it see, is actually if you have them hot, like really freshly made. Because in this case, they're not that hot. And you can see like you need to chew more, but if they're really hot, then it's kind of like melt, uh, they melt in, in your mouth. So still good, but it can be better if it's like really, really warm. This is Simit Pogacha. Uh, Simit Pogacha is like a Skopje invention. Uh, you cannot find this one in other places. Even if you find it, it comes. To, they, they've been to Skopje, they learn how to do it in Skopje. You know, Simit Bogac, it's nothing spectacular, but it's actually so popular among the local people for unknown reason. Yeah. <laughs> because, as I already said to you when you asked me what it is, it's simply bread with bread. Bread with a burek inside, basically. It's not a burek, but it looks like burek. And, but Burek with, with no filling, no 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 meat, no cheese, no nothing inside. So like empty burek, put in this I don't know the word in English for for that small kind of a hot dog bun. I yeah, would say. like a like a yeah, like a hot dog. You put that burek, empty burek inside, and that's it. And it kind of gives you the feeling that you're eating some meat or some substance. I mean, you will tell me what type of feeling feeling will give you when you have that. I'm gonna have to give it a try. So nothing spectacular, but the local people love this. Wow. I love that grab also. A, I, that's why I wanted to grab the other half. Okay, it's gonna be difficult to tear it 
Yeah, okay. Oh, I had a bigger <laughs> one. Like, okay. I know how to take it. Okay. Here we go, you guys. So, cheers. Cheers. Hasta novia. Na zdravie. Yeah. Well, yeah, having the bread inside the bread, with no sauce, it's just a little bit dry. It's definitely an experience. Um, it's got a nice crunchiness with the inside bread. This is basically like the same as Boric without anything inside. And um, well, then, the closest I can explain what it is inside is the Burek. Yeah. It's not the Burek, but it's like the closest. Uh, it looks like like the burek without 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 anything inside. But. And some people also eat the burek with nothing inside. Also, no, no, no. Only this is only no, for no, the sandwich. No, no, this is only for the sandwich. Yeah. Wow. This is only for the sandwich. So they stick this inside of a basic hot dog bun with sesame seeds on the top of it. Having the bread inside the bread with no sauce, it's just a little bit dry. It's definitely an experience, so this would go good with like some yogurt yes, yes, on the side and yeah. just enjoy it's like both. you bite and sip as always. Yeah. And the bread here, by the way, in Macedonia overall is really high quality bread. You, you can't really go too far without finding a really good no, sourdough we love bread. To, we love to eat bread. I mean, we eat bread with almost everything. I mean, we actually, we actually eat bread with bread. Mm. Mm. The thing is that um, the reason why we eat so much bread is not the, the best reason. Mm. The thing is that throughout the history, Macedonian people, Macedonian families were always uh, among the most poorest families here. Uh, Macedonia was ruled by different empires, Bulgarian, Serbian, Ottomans, five centuries. And during those periods, of course, Macedonian families were always suffering, always the poor ones. And most of those families, they could not afford to get the meat on a daily basis. You know? wow. And we have perfect weather for vegetables, so they grow their own vegetables at the back of the house. But what we feel here is that I can have like the biggest bowl of vegetable salad, but half an hour later I will be hungry. And in order to avoid that, the people start eating bread with everything. So simply to keep them fed to go throughout the day. Yeah. So even nowadays, that's kind of a thing for the Macedonian people. This street is very famous because it was made Back in the... Uh, in 1911, 19... 1911 was made when the Turkish Sultan arrived in Skopje. And at the time Skopje was generally developing on the other side of the river. The train station was on this side. And there was almost nothing in between, apart from storage buildings and you know, like Ottoman graveyard. So generally mud around. And you know the Sultan is coming to a town and you need to make something. You don't want to leave the Sultan to walk in the mud. Yeah. And that's uh, how, and that's why they built the street at the time. And in 1911, this was like a Skopje Champs Elysees. This was like the widest and the longest street in the area, and everyone almost immediately started. People started moving on this side of the river and building hotels and restaurants. And since then, it's been more than 100 years. And then another really cool thing about this place is the boats that are like, not really boats. They're kind of fake boats on along the yeah, river. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I like that you said another cool thing because not everyone liked those. Uh, yeah, those are not boats. Those are actually, sorry, actually buildings and they're built on the spot so they wooden plated so they look like boats. And yes, uh, this one is the most interesting one behind behind us because that one is a restaurant. Uh, it's a hotel. Yeah. So the upper section, yeah, that's a restaurant. You can spend, you can have a coffee there. And if you want to stay here, you can also stay in this hotel for 45 euros. 45, uh, yeah, 50 euro, uh, yeah, 45 euros around 50 US dollars more or less. Yeah. The last time I checked, maybe it's less, maybe it's more at the moment. I don't know. It's a, it's a fun theme to have a boat along a cool river like this, and it gets really cool at night. And this is uh, we're walking up on this museum. And this is an archaeological museum in front of us. In my eyes, this is the best museum in, uh, in Skopje. Okay. So if you guys are into visiting museums around, so this one, it's kind of a must. Yeah. It's not too expensive also. Uh, it's around five euros entrance. Okay. And that's probably the highest price that you're gonna pay to enter in, in the museum. museum in Skopje. We have some national galleries that actually the entrance is like one and a half euro. Uh, some of them are also free. Some museums okay. are free, so not too much money that you need to in enjoy the art and the yeah. history here. 
and the archaeological museum is going to be all the ex excavations that they've done. And yeah, yeah, we have more than 6,000 different artifacts exhibited wow. inside that one huge collection of money uh, from the ancient period until, you know, Middle Ages. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you check out Zaran's website, freescorpiowalkingtourist.com. I got it right this time? Yep! Great. Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. How's everybody doing today? Coming at you guys from Scorpia, North Macedonia. And this place is a very cool city. A lot of statues, a lot of things to see. It's already been covered by a lot of other YouTubers, but I found one thing that nobody has covered yet. So I'm gonna take you guys to a very local place. It's a local market that is one of the biggest in town, if not the biggest. It's called the Green Bazaar. In